What's up, y'all? It's your boy, J-N-R-B-O-O-W-N. And today, we're going to be doing a Get Ready With Me to start off my day. Plus, it's going to be a story time. So, let's just start this off. So, first, I'm going like, to start off with brushing my teeth. So, i got to get my toothbrush and toothpaste. I'll put that back up there. Okay. First, we're going to wet my toothbrush. Okay, then we're going to put some of this toothpaste on it. Okay. Okay, so now since we did that, now... Just going to do my little thing. Okay. So, some of y'all don't know, but y'all know whiting strips, right? Like, the things that you use for your teeth to get them white. Back to school is in a couple of days, and I need my teeth to be white. So, I have washed my teeth, but I eat a lot of snacks. So, when you find out that whiting strips are actually made out of this, so, what I do is I add just a little bit of that, dust it off, and then water it again, and then just do it. Um. Okay, y'all. So let's start off this story time. So I got beef with this one boy, and he was talking stuff about me and my friend group. So basically, what was happening was. We wasn't around, and he was talking stuff about us. So we was like, uh-uh, you're not about to talk stuff about us when we're not around, because you can say it to our face. So that was when we started arguing back and forth, because he was like, if you got something to say, you could have said it to our face. You didn't have to say it when we wasn't around. I don't like that fake stuff at all. So... Let's just get to the point. So basically, he was talking stuff and he kept saying that he was going to fight us and stuff. And I was like, and he was like, okay. Um, he said he got his little friend group, which is only like five people. And we have a friend group over of with, we have a friend group and our friend group has over 15 people in it. So basically... We was arguing, but before we started arguing, his friend group was on the hill at school, and our friend group was over there under the tree because it was hot. So we was under the tree, we was making TikToks, and we was just telling the tea for the people, for the for our friends that was not there. And that was when Kamar, that was one of their, that was one of that boy's friend groups, people, Came over there and was like, Jerome said he'll beat y'all up, blah, blah, blah. Basically telling us what he was saying. So, basically, that was when we walked over there and was like, if you got a problem, you could have said it to our face. Like, you keep sneak this in, but you're not saying it to our face. And then, we started arguing. We can we start talking about each other's mama because he started talking about our mama. So he was like, "You want to talk about your mama?" Okay, but basically his mama is dead, right? So my friends didn't want to take it that far about saying about his mama because his mama's dead. I did not care. I talked about his mama. I said his mama was six feet under the ground, and if I have to punch her corpse, take her out her grave, and spit on her grave, and spit on her face, I would. 
So then that was when the me and the boy was about to get active. And me and the boy was about to get active. And that was when the teacher saw us arguing and saw us that we was about to square up. Because we was, we was about to square up. And what happened was that the teacher came over there. And she was like, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? And we had, and we was like, nothing, nothing. And then that was when um, his name, the boy we was talking about, his name is Jerome. So we was like, yeah. So we was, we told her, and then we was like, stop talking. And then she went back over there so that she could watch the other kids. Because she trusted us. So she went back over there so that she could watch the other kids. And that was when. We was about to square up again. And then Jerome, we was about to square up. And then that was when Jerome ran off and went to go to the teacher. So we got separated. So let's just skip to the next day. The next day, we told Jerome that we was going to fight him and his friend group on the last day of school. We was going to do our 1v1. So one person fight the other person. Then we just going to keep on switching. Because we're not going to do no 2v1 or... 15, 5, basically like that. Because our friend group has more than 15 people. So, we were like, yeah. So, we're going to do our 1v1s. We're going to keep switching. And we're just going to get our hits in. We're going to do what we have to do. So, on the last day of school. No, let's, no, let's not skip that so far. So, we still was arguing. We was in the classroom and we had a substitute. So, you know that class was bad. And basically, what happened was, Jerome was still over there talking about us. After we already said that we was going to fight, he's still over there talking his stuff. You can hear him. He he cannot whisper at all. We we sit in, we sit in at the table next to him. Because we have these big tables. So, like, all 15 of us plus can, can sit at that table. Well, technically, it's not 15 of us. It's like 7 of us because... We is split up into two classes. So, technically, it's only, like, fit seven of us. So, we sitting at the table, and we over here talking because he can't whisper. So, we was like, okay. And that was when we walked over there and was like, so you still wanting to talk your stuff. And the, teach, the substitute told us to sit back down. We wasn't about to disrespect her because she was our favorite. She was, she is one of our favorite substitutes. So we was like, okay, we're not going to disrespect her because we care about her, blah, blah, blah. But Jerome was still talking stuff. So I was like, okay, maybe I can talk stuff behind my chair, at my chair. So we started arguing once again. And I, he started he started picking up my mama. And I was like, baby, my mama is paid, has a job, is not dead, and as she has some hair. Baby, your mama is dead, wears wigs, don't have a job, makes zero dollars a month. Okay. So basically, we was arguing, and that was when she had to step in. But I was, I didn't care. I know she was one of my face sisters, but I did not care. I got up and I got in his face. And we started arguing. And let me remind you, the boy that we was arguing with is my ex-boyfriend. So. Oh, I thought I had somebody. Anyway, so we started arguing. And what happened was. We was getting ready to throw hands. And the teacher stepped in. Her little big self. Oh, I'm so sorry. Her little big self stepped in. So we couldn't one on one because she's too big. So we couldn't one on one. So that was off limits now. But he still was talking stuff. So, you know, I had to find a way to put him in his place. So basically... We started arguing even more now because the teacher actually got in our way and we wasn't able to fight. We wasn't able to just throw our hands and get it over with. So, yeah, so basically, he still wanted to talk his stuff. And I was like, okay, I really don't care. This is my job business. And 
he still wanna he stayed talking his stuff and I was like, okay, let's talk your stuff then. So I sat there. I could have swung off him. But I sat there and we started talking. And he was talking about how he didn't feel like we was respecting him with enough respect, so he had to do what he had to do. In my head, I was laughing because we didn't ever talk to you first. We didn't even know. We didn't even care. I mean, we know you was new, but after we broke up, we I stopped talking to you and my friend stopped talking to you. You was the one that started talking stuff. So I was just sitting there laughing inside my head. And then that was when he said that he wanted to have a 1v1 conversation with me. And I was like, okay, we can have this 1v1 conversation. Um, just have to get ready. So I have to crack my knuckles, you feel me? Just make sure that if you want to throw hands, you can, we can. So I don't have to get ready. And if you want to throw hands, we can just throw hands right there and then. So we was over there sitting down. And he had this 1v1 talk with me talking about. What did I do to you? I never did nothing to you. Do you want to get back together? Blah, 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 blah. I didn't want nothing to do with him anymore. You talk too much stuff for my comfort, and I did not care about you no more. So, when he kept trying to talk to me, I was like, you better back up because I'm going to end up hitting you. He kept getting closer and closer. So I was like, okay, this is my last time telling you, but I back up before I end up hitting you. And he was like, no, why, 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 why? Because I said so. But anyway, ooh, too much hair on me. Who be using this? Ugh, all this hair. But, so basically, he was talking stuff. Like about why? What did I do to you? Stop being so mean. And just answer my questions. I, like I just said, I was not having any time for it. I did not care. What he had to say, all I knew is that this was never going to be something. And all I wanted to do was just run my hands, run my ones with him. And just get it over with. So basically, he stayed trying to talk stuff, and I was like, boy, you better back up, back up, back up. And I started yelling, yelling, like, I was like, you better back the, at my face, or we're going to end up swinking. And he was talking too much stuff for me. Like, I already beat up your friend. Why you want to get these hands, too? Because your friend and we... Was in the hallway fighting. And. Last time I checked. He tried to flip me over. But I ended up flipping him over. Putting my feet on his stomach. And then just flipped him over. And then. Just got up and went to walk with him while he was on the floor. I beat up your friend. And you talk about that's the strongest friend that I have in my friend group. So if you're talking about that. And you saying that he's one of the strongest. Why is you trying to fight me? If he's one of the strongest, what makes you think you can beat me up? So I kept on saying no. So I kept on saying it because I wanted to know me. I wanted to let him know that I beat up your friend. I beat up your friend. Me and your friend had our ones. And he got me up. So you need to get out of my face before it can end up being you. And he didn't want to listen. So, basically, what happened was, we started throwing hands. We was only throwing hands for, like, five seconds. It's cool, though. Now, imagine if it was, like, 30 or something. Like, we was only throwing hands for, like, five seconds. I still did my big ones, though. He kept hitting me in my chest. I feel like that was a slick move because everybody knows I have chest problems. When I'm running and when I get tired and stuff. And I feel like that was a slick move. That was a slick move. But I wasn't going for another chest. I was going for the head. I wanted him to have a black eye. Mind you, he's in fifth grade, right? We both in sixth grade now. But he's in fifth grade. And this fourth grader 
Well, him and him got into it, and the fourth grader bopped him in his eye. And Jerome, and he fell all the way back into the street, almost got ran over by a car. I'm, I hope he, I was wishing he did, but he almost got hit by a car. And he had a black eye. He had one black eye right here, and then it was like a little black right there, like mine's. But that's just, I just woke up, so that's going to be there until I finally not that much tired no more. So, you got beat up by a fourth grader, and he all he did was throw one little punch. He did boom in your eye, and you had two black eyes. Boom, boom. Like, bro, what? You got beat up by a fourth grader. What did you think you beat me up? And I beat up that fourth grader before. Mind tell you that. But it wasn't really real fight. We started arguing, and we was about to throw hands. But, so I was like, I don't care if you got a problem with me. What's your problem? All I know is that you got a problem with me, but we can solve this one way or the other. I can I can be nice, and I cannot whoop you. Or I can be mean, and I can whoop you like your mama should have had before she died. So, yeah, so, that's basically... What happened on the last day of school when we were supposed to fight them? This is the end of the story time, so I'm about to hurry up and clean up my ears. So basically, we it's the last day of school, and we were supposed to fight. And him and his friend group, he ended up running, and his friend group had at the school, even on the last no, it was at the school. His friend group had that his his whole friend group had an early dismissal. Like I said, they were scary. So they had their mamas give them an early dismissal. And when he realized that they was all gone, he he realized that he was going to have to fight all 15 plus of us. So like 1v1 with the first person 1v1, he said he was going to have to fight basically more than 15 people. So basically after that, he ran off. We started chasing him, but... Then he's too fast. We can't chase him. It's like he's a professional or something. But my, let me tell you something else. Though. On the first day he came, because he was, he came in late. He came in in the middle of the school year. And the first year he came, he was like, yeah, I had to transfer schools because I beat up this little boy and I got in. I, I broke his leg. I broke his leg. But he didn't break nothing. Other than your dignity. So you have to leave because you got beat up. Anyway, oh, cleaning up my ears. Anyway, so basically, oh, good. So y'all, so you say that, but then you ran. If you broke somebody's leg, you should be able to just do that to every last one of you, one of us, right? Okay, and you said this dude was like, he was a good fighter. Okay. So, tell me why. You know what, y'all? Just know he's a little snake. And nobody really cares about him no more. He, oh! All I hope is that he is not coming. He better wish that he is not coming to this school this year. Because I swear to God, and I'm not lying to y'all, if I see him, if I see him talking stuff again, it's on psych. I hate people who talk stuff, and then they can't back it up, and they do the most trash talking. So, yeah. So, this is the end of the video after I put this in my head. So, basically, you can either put it on the scalp, but my hair is too messy at the time. So, I can't just figure out where the parts are and stuff. So, I'm going to just put some on my hand. Go hit my girl up. Um, and then just 
get in, get put on your fingertips and just grab it into your scalp. Because you can't put it inside, like, what's the point of putting it on the top of your thing? It's not growing right there. It's growing in your scalp. So, get it all in your scalp. I don't care if you have to part your hair and just whoosh, get it in your scalp. So, y'all, that story time was good for me. I had my five seconds of wicks with him and his friend group. I only had, I only fought one person in his friend group. So that it was him and then other person. The two the three people I used to be cool with, but now you're in a friend group with him and I'm like, I used to be cool with you. But now you hanging out with the op. The op. That's your girlfriend's op and you still hanging out with him. Okay. Anyway, so y'all, this is the end of the video. If you like this video, like, comment, like, subscribe, and comment. Well done on below this video. Because I did my big ones. And on the first day of school, if anybody wants to win their ones, comment below on this video and say I want to win your ones. Because I will win your ones. All I got to do is take off my shoes and I will win my ones with you. That's all you got to say. So, y'all, at the end of the day, I did my big ones. So, y'all, all I gotta say is don't put your trust in a nigger. Well, he was white, so don't put your trust in a man if you're not 100% sure that he has your trust in you. And that's all I gotta say. Oh yeah, and I also liked him because he was trying to make me jealous because he said he was gonna ask off somebody in our class but never did. He was trying to make me jealous and I was like, okay, that's why I cheated on you. Even though I really did cheat on him for real. And I'm pretty sure everybody been knew that. I could have had though, because I was talking to somebody. I could have had cheated on him. But I'm not the type of cheater. If I have cheated on you, that only means you cheated on me. But he was also telling everybody that we was not dating, which also blew me off. So, anyway, y'all, like I said, this is the end of the video. So, I'm going to be putting my last final touches on here. Wrong one. You know, we're just going to use this one there because I hope I get some more. So, we're going to use my Savage. Damn, why is all my clothes gone? What the hell? This is crazy, y'all. And I don't even be going nowhere for real. Where are all these clothes going? Oh, yeah. I do have a step there, and then I do also have a step brother, but my step brother's not always over here, so don't know. Yeah, just come on right here. So just, I don't want too much on me, so I'm just spraying the air, and I'm just rocking it. God, that was strong. Anyway, y'all. Bye, y'all. Like this video, and give this a thumbs up, and subscribe, because, like, if you're not subscribing, then what you doing? Anyway, goodbye, y'all. It's Love JJ signing out.